Hey, welcome back to Ramsey Land. Today I want to show you how to make your own compass. Check this out. All I'm using to build our compass today are some pins, a couple of small rectangular magnets, some electrical wire, plastic cups, straws, and some tape. Now before GPS and Google Earth, the Han Dynasty in 240 BC made what were called South Pointers. These were made with a brass alloy plate and a small ladle made of lodestone. And they wouldn't use this for navigation, but rather for geomancy. Let me show you its features. Known as the Sinan, this early compass made by the Chinese during the Han Dynasty has a ladle that's made out of lodestone, and when you spin it, it points south. This wasn't used for navigation, but for geomancy, because the Chinese really believed that the location of houses and landforms and where your relatives were buried would actually have auspicious outcomes for their descendants. Just like the ancient Chinese compass, we're going to use magnets in our compass today. The first step is to line your magnets so they connect side by side, so the same polarity is on both sides, south versus north. And you want to do this before you thread your wire through both magnets. The second step is to cut two strips of wire that are the same length and fold them in half. Now while both magnets are aligned, take your wires and thread them through so the bended part is on the same side of both magnets. So it looks like this. And thread it through so that there's just a little bit of wire hanging out both ends of the magnet that you can bend. So it looks like that. Next, you're gonna separate the two magnets and you're gonna take the leftover wire and you're just gonna bend it around the back of the magnet to hold it on. So it's bent like this. So it holds on to it, okay? And then you're gonna do the same thing for the other magnet. You're just taking the wire and you're just bending it around the back. Like that that you can hang it from the wire. So now both magnets look like that. Now you're gonna take the ends of both wires and you're gonna thread it through each side of your straw. Make sure that the side that's facing out is the same on both ends of the straw. So I'm gonna take this side, and I'm gonna put it in this side of the straw. And I'd also bend the middle of the wire out a little bit like this. So when you put it in the straw, there's tension. So I'm gonna take the same face and have it facing out so the magnets aren't attracted toward each other. And again, you want some tension there so it's facing out. So both ends of the straw have a magnet hanging out like that. Now you wanna find the midpoint of the straw, the balancing point. So I would hold it in your finger like this, and I would take a needle and I'd push it straight down through the center so that it's balanced right in the middle. And I wouldn't push the needle all the way, just so there's about a centimeter or so coming off the end. Now you're ready to turn your cup upside down and balance the needle on the top of the cup and slowly it will start to rotate and find magnetic north. So from this orientation, you can see that it's truly balanced and it stopped moving. It really looks like our magnets are pointing north-south. Make sure that when you put the tip of that needle on the underside of the cup, that it doesn't actually pierce the cup. Don't be tempted to poke the cup because you want the straw to be able to freely move so that your magnets are attracted to the Earth's magnetic north pole. Now notice that this end here is pointing south and I can compare it to my south pointer over on this table and you can see that the handle here is pointing in the same direction. 
Remember that the Earth itself has a magnetic north and south pole. That's because the outer core of the Earth is molten iron and it's spinning. And the rotation of that molten iron creates a magnetic field. Now, that magnetic field is different than the geographic north pole. The magnetic north pole actually isn't in the same location, but that magnetic north pole is what attracts your compass needle. Interestingly, every two to 300,000 years, the magnetic poles of the Earth shift. So much so that has happened several times over the last 20 million years, given that the Earth is a little over 4 billion years old. Now, if you have two compasses side by side and you're careful, you can demonstrate how one compass can repel the other, given that they're not too far apart from each other. Here you can see if your compasses are the right distance from each other, and they're in time with each other's rotation, one will actually repel the other. I hope you enjoyed today's edition of Ramsey Land, and I'll see you next time. If you enjoyed this presentation, be sure to remember to like and subscribe.